Hey, welcome back to Out the Smoke. I'm Malcolm Reed, hanging out with my buddy Mark Williams from Swine Life Barbecue. Mark, what are we doing today, man? I see these big, thick, beautiful ribeyes on the board. We're gonna see what tenderizes steak the best. We got some pineapple, we got some kosher salt, got one control steak. We're gonna see how tender we can get them. So the enzymes in pineapple is supposed to really break down uh, proteins. And so you see that used in a lot of these commercial meat tenderizers. It's the bromelain enzyme that's naturally in pineapple. So what I did, I bought a fresh pineapple from the grocery store, run it through the food processor, put it back in a little container here. That's gonna be one of our ribeyes. The other one is just a dry salt brine. Everybody knows that salt tenderizes meat too. So we're using about a cup of salt for a big 16 ounce ribeye. That's gonna be one of ours. The pineapple's gonna be one and then one steak. We're not gonna do anything to it. This is a ribeye tenderness test. Y'all stick around. So the first thing we did was drop one ribeye in a Ziploc bag. We poured in half the salt on one side, flipped the steak over, pour the rest of the salt in, and then we squeezed all the air out of the bag. You wanna make sure salt's covering all the edges, both sides, and then you want it to go for about 30 minutes for this test. We're doing the same thing for the pineapple steak too. Drop it down in the bag, pour the pineapple in, make sure it's all coated on all sides, squeeze the air out, it's getting 30 minutes in those pineapple enzymes as well. So after 30 minutes, we rinse the pineapple off the steak, we rinse the salt off under cool water. You wanna get all that off of it. And this is what we have left. I mean, the biggest difference I can tell is the color of these three steaks. I mean, you can see the control steak. It still looks like we just brought it home from the butcher shop. The next one is the salt steak and it changed the meat. It's kind of got that darker look to it now all over. You can tell that salt's done something to it. It's opened it up, Mark, kind of looks like it's got some you know, looseness to it. But the pineapple steak, that dude is it soft as all it can be. And also, I mean, it smells a little like pineapple. I'm really expecting that to be a sweet flavored steak. Yeah. Uh, I'll be surprised if it's not, but it pulled the color out of it. It's super soft. I mean, you can almost pinch right through it. I mean, we may have overworked it with 30 minutes in the pineapple, but we got to get some seasoning on them now and get them out on the grill so we can taste and see what the texture's like on these steaks. So we've already got the grills hot outside, Mark. Let's go to the grill and get Take these steaks cooked. To. So Mark, it's a moment of truth, man. We cook these steaks the exact same out on the Weber grill. Uh, about two minutes, twist them two minutes, flip them, same thing. Took them to about 125. So we know we cooked them perfect. Should be perfect. Now it's time to cut them up and let's see what that tenderness is like, man. We're gonna cut right across the middle out the yeah, cake. Yeah, let's give us a look. How did, how does it feel? That's the regular steak. That feels like a regular steak. It feels like a regular steak. Not any extra tender or anything, right? Salted steak. Did it feel soft? Mm, Not it's hard really? to tell. Your, knife, your knife's too darn yeah, sharp. Yeah, well, you gotta have sharp knives. We'll blame the knife. That one's the jelly steak. I, that dude's tender. <laughs> <laughs> that pineapple steak's trying to fall apart on you, ain't it? So, I'm gonna let you do the honors. I'm gonna try the salty steak first. The salted steak. Is don't, it gonna be salty? Don't call it salty yet. Yeah, don't call it salty yet. Let's see. I mean, it's medium rare. It's how I like it. Mmm. I think it's good, it's salty a little bit. Let's do the control next. So we taste the salted one. Is it more tender than the control? Do this control steak next. All right. There's not a whole lot of difference in the texture. Mm. This one's saltier than that one. That's that one, one has more get. beef flavor, no doubt. This one's salty, brings the beefiness out. Texture wise, there's not much difference. That, te that steak is just as tender as this 30 minutes in the salt. So, moment of truth. Moment of truth. What did the pineapple, all those natural enzymes in it do to the steak? I'm expecting it just to melt away. I mean. <laughs> that junk is soft. It's soft. It has a little bit of a sweet taste. I mean, I can tell it's, it's I can tell it's pineapple. Yeah. Can you tell it's pineapple? That's Not, definitely most tender. That had a little, Probably the more beefy flavor, but yeah, it was a touch more salt. Bringing out, yeah, and then and this was just a good steak. standard old eating steak. So hey, the only way you're going to find out this is if you try it out yourself. So do this ribeye test with the salt, with the pineapple. Do your control steak. Invite your buddies over. It's a steak party. Yeah, let them be the judge. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us here today at Out the Smoke. 
If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find Mark over on his YouTube channel, Swine Life BBQ. Y'all know I'm at How to Barbecue Right. We'll see y'all next time.